This video will show you how to take a PowerPoint uh, that you might want to have shown in face to face in your class uh, and turn it into a narrated voice thread presentation that you can share with your students through your Moodle course. First of all, VoiceThread is a cloud-based application that we have integrated into Moodle through the external tools activity. VoiceThread is, a, uh, is an application where you, or your students for that matter, can upload various different kinds of media, PowerPoint presentations, images, uh, or um, PDFs, whatever, and uh, share those uh, with your students in a way that you, and if you want, your students can can comment on either through using a microphone, webcam, a variety of means. So um, let's say that I was planning to show this PowerPoint in class, but class is being canceled because we're getting another blast of snow. I could take this PowerPoint into VoiceThread and embed that into my Moodle course uh, so that uh, students have the lecture even though we're not meeting. So um, here I'm in my uh, course as instructor. I've got the, I've got editing turned on. There are actually three different ways to uh, integrate VoiceThread into your class. And uh, what we're going to be focusing on really is how to share, share a VoiceThread as a presentation. But um, let me talk about the other two ways as well, just um, briefly. So uh, VoiceThread is added as an external tool activity. So if you click Add Activity, you want to select External Tool. Click Add. And then the, um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can um, provide an access point for you and your students to your VoiceThread account that you have uh, because you've got a, a Moodle account here. So I'm going to call this VoiceThread Home. You'll want to make sure you select that th this is a VoiceThread external tool because we do have a few other kinds of external tools that can be added in. And I'm going to open this up in a new window. And the other thing I'm going to do is I don't want this uh, item to show up in my Moodle gradebook. Um, this is just an access point to VoiceThread. So I'm going to unselect the Accept Grades from Tool under Privacy. And uh, click Save and Return to Course. And there will be a new external tool activity. Uh, if I click on it, the integration is going to ask me, well, what kind of uh, connection to VoiceThread do I want? And again, here are the three different ways you can bring VoiceThread in. So I'm first going to just uh, say, well, let's provide access for everyone to their VoiceThread account uh, through our M Moodle course. If I do that, I uh, basically will see, from my perspective, access to my VoiceThread account through Moodle. I'm uh, at the Home tab here. You can uh, expand the menu, see the VoiceThreads that you own, which uh, if you've never created a VoiceThread, none will be listed there. Um, you can see VoiceThreads that are shared with you. The, if you want to get a good idea of what VoiceThread is and what it can do, you can click on the Tutorials uh, link here and uh, you'll see various different kinds of VoiceThreads that uh, VoiceThread has created to show you how to work with VoiceThread. Um, so, uh, let me show you how to create that uh, a VoiceThread from that PowerPoint. So if I click on the Create tab, and then uh, you can click on this Add Media and browse your computer to find your PowerPoint or 
or image slides that you want to put up as a voice thread. <clears throat> I'm just going to switch over to a finder window in on my Mac. Or it could be the same thing as a as a window on your on your PC. And I'm going to take this PowerPoint, drag it and drop it onto the place to add media files. And what VoiceThread will do is it will take that PowerPoint, which I think has four or five slides, and will break those up into corresponding slides in the VoiceThread presentation. Uh, so there we go, four slides. Click here to add a title and a description. So I'm going to call this Three Planets. Um, and a little description here. Comparison of Earth, Moon, Mars, and Venus. Click Save. Now the power of uh, VoiceThread are the different ways that you can comment on the uh, slides. So I'm going to switch over to comment mode. And I can look at you know all of the different slides. I can put whatever comments I want on any of the slides. I'll just select the first one here. You can add a text comment, which is maybe not so interesting. Um, this tool will allow you to turn on your webcam and record a video comment. So if you want uh, the kind of talking head presentation to your students while they're viewing your voice thread, you can go that way. I'm just going to turn on uh, record an audio comment. Uh, you will probably have to be um, asked to allow uh, Flash to access your microphone. And then um, you can just go ahead and start recording the comments. Uh, you can at the same time draw with your mouse on the slide as you're making these comments. Click Stop Recording. I'm just going to click Save and your comment will show up here as uh, uh, being added to the slide. If you want to delete it, you can click delete. And you can do the same thing for your other slides. Okay. And so what you'll see then is you know the ability to take your PowerPoint into VoiceThread, comment it up as if you were sharing your presentation in class with your students. Okay. So that's uh, the, you know that's a good way for you to get access to your VoiceThread space, so you can do your VoiceThread creation. Uh, just quickly, another way you can add a VoiceThread into your class is to provide a space for your whole class to share VoiceThreads. This will be this would be useful if you wanted your students to create VoiceThreads. Uh, and share them for you know class discussion. So I'm going to call this VoiceThread Course Space, <coughs> and again select that it's a VoiceThread external tool. Open it up in a new window. I don't want this to show up in the gradebook. Click Save and return to course. And now I have to go in here and let VoiceThread know what kind of a connection this is. So I'll, as instructor, I'll click on this. And this time I will select a course view. And what this provides is everyone <coughs> has a way of seeing all of the voice threads that have been shared with the class, whether they're voice threads that you're sharing with the class or whether they're voice threads you want your students to share. So, um, you know, this provides a convenient overview of the course voice thread presentations or, or uh, discussions. You can, from this per perspective, uh, you or your students click on this All My Voice Threads link, and you'll see all the voice threads that you have available to you. 
and if you roll over any of these there's an option here to share with the course you click on it and it is shared so if I go back to the course view um, I and my students would see this voice thread so this is kind of a non-specific way to just share a collection of voice threads which could be useful Uh, what I want to do instead, though, is to take that uh, three planets voice thread that I just uh, imported from PowerPoint and comment it up. And I want to share it specifically here under Topic 3 with my students. Again, I would click Add an Activity or Resource, select External Tool, Add. Click Add. I'll call this uh, Three Planets Presentation. Again, it's a voice thread tool. I want it to open in a new window. And again, I really don't want this to show up in the gradebook. So I'll save and return to course. This time, as I come in here as the instructor, what I'm going to want to select is that I want to share a specific individual voice thread with my students. And then I just select <coughs> the voice thread that I want to direct my students to and click share with class. And it's, it is shared with the class. So if we now go in and look at my class from a student perspective, let me refresh the page. Um, I'm uh, now as a student, if I click on the VoiceThread Home link, I would have access to my space as a student. And so if I go look at um, the VoiceThreads I've created, as, you know, I've never been asked to create one by a faculty member, so I don't have any ones I've created. But I could, as a student, create one and then share it back with the class. Um, similarly, if I go to the course space, I will see all of the voice threads that have been shared with the course. In this case, they're all ones that have been shared by my instructor. And if I, um, you know, wanted to to click on the link to the individual voice thread. Again, I would see it come up. Um, you can just go ahead and or, you know, it, whatever presentations my faculty members shared, they're accessible.